So I've decided I do not want to try to drill a hole into concrete again. It's not easy, you need like a hammer drill. So I've decided for the light in my bedroom, I am gonna attach this to my wall. It's easier to drill through, con not drywall. It's easier to drill through drywall than concrete. So here's my plan. I have this wall bracket. I have a bracket here, which you know I use for my plants, but I'm not gonna use for my plants this time. I am going to attach it right here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just gonna wrap it around, you know, a good amount of times until it just holds the light like this. And then this here, this will be the light for my bedroom. Like the light is a little big where it might look tiny bit weird. I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna say, oh, it's hip, you know? You just say, oh no, it's hip. And then people are like, oh yeah, it is, it's unique. <sighs> So good news, I have some updates on my Facebook Marketplace finds. So number one, remember the carpet I mentioned yesterday, that long skinny vintage carpet that I wanted from my fridge that like led down to my, my bed. I'm gonna go pick that up in like 30 minutes and then I'm also getting that red shelf, you know like that Ikea red shelf. Yeah, I'm getting that. They're actually delivering it for me so thank goodness because I don't know how I'd get that here by myself. And I'm gonna put it right here. Where's this gonna go now? I think it looks pretty good there. I was actually thinking it was gonna be a lot bigger that I would like have to go get like a, a car like a car share to like get it home But it's actually really small in this bag so I can actually walk home with this so I'm actually gonna stop by a Place because they have this hanger. I kind of want a de uh, decor place so We're gonna go there So this is what I was talking about. These coat hangers, aren't they so cool? They look like bowls or plates. my burrito so now let's see how this carpet looks I don't know where it looks better does it look better here or there I think I'm gonna keep it here cuz then here listen I have dogs that like to sit on carpet only and they don't like to sit in hardwood so this theoretically is the best because then they can sit by their food dish on a carpet. So I kind of showed you guys these when I was at that decor place. It's called Design House. I just, oh, I buy everything there if I could. But I just got two of the coat hangers and they just kind of look like bowls. This red one and the green one. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put them right here so I can hang a jacket here because right now it's really annoying having to put my like coat in the coat rack. I'd rather just like throw it off on something. I'm hoping these are the last holes I have to drill in my place. At this rate, I'm gonna be patching holes for three years. <laughs> Holes are very close together. This thing did not come with instructions, so I'm just gonna guess that this is the way it's supposed to go on. 
Let's see if I did it. I thought these holes were too close together. So I just went to the website and watched the tutorial and the tutorial was useless. They just said, screw it into the wall and twist it on. So. I think this is better this time. I don't know, I'm nervous about those. I feel like they're gonna fall down. Look what I just got. It's a little crooked. I think we're gonna need to get GoPro. They got organizers here? No way. Oh, that's nice. Okay, here's the Velcro. Where is it? This is what I need. Extra heavy duty. Ex extremely strong. That's what I need. Oh, they got my cereal on sale too. $3.99. Velcro and ended up with Becca cereal and Capcorn. Since <laughs> you're supposed to like hold it for like 30 seconds or something. This is so exciting. I am like, oh, I'm so excited to put decor on here. So every single day at 4.38, maybe earlier, around five o'clock, my dogs are sitting at their food bowls waiting for their food. And nine times out of 10, I am not feeding them at five o'clock when they wanna be fed. So that is why I partnered with Pet Libro for today's video and they are helping me solve this issue with their automatic pet feeder bowl. And with their food bowls right now, there is no protection. It is a mess. But with Pet Libro, their new feeder is designed with triple protection so it has spill proof insect proof and pet proof. The push button lid allows air to escape when you push it down and it locks the food in the tank and it prevents it from spoiling, from spilling, even when the feeder is tipped over inside. There's a precise router at the food outlet that prevents ants or other insects from entering the food tank and to make sure it is clean and brush the food. And at the front, there's a control panel cover so your pets don't learn to press certain buttons so food comes out. There's two ways to power the feeder, one by plugging into the wall, or you can get batteries, and this allows 180 days so your dogs can eat anywhere and everywhere. If you guys wanna try out Pet Libro and get your automatic food bowls for your pets, I will have a link down below in the description with a discount code, and they're also launching on Amazon. I guess that's all I have for decor. So I got two goals to share with you guys. One goal is I am actually going to finish this place this week, like 100%. Like it's gonna be 100% organized in here, so Monday morning when I wake up, I can do whatever I want. Like if I wanna sew, I have everything there to sew. If I wanna knit, I have everything there that I wanna knit. I also need to decorate the whole place. That's what I mean, like 100%, it's gonna be 100% decorated, functional, and organized. Second goal, I have a goal for this morning, which I have been avoiding this goal. I, <laughs> I bought these, this, I bought Legos off Facebook Marketplace. I paid for them. This lady's holding them for me. I wanted these Legos and I don't have a car anymore. So I've been avoiding going and getting the car share service here in my city and setting that up, but I have it set up now. So now I can go get one of those cars and drive over to this lady's house that is 30 minutes away and pick up these dang Legos that I bought. Okay, so I think this one's my car that I reserved. I'm in me mom's car. Vroom, vroom. I'm in here. It's actually a newer one. I have a very nice car here. So I need to drive now. I need to drive like 30 minutes to go get these freaking Legos. I 
I got my Legos. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's good size, good fit-ish. I don't know. It's still pretty tight when I walk around here, but again, it's just me here, so it's it's just for my computer when I'm watching something. But I am wondering. I do have a glass table downstairs where the top comes off, but I'm wondering if I could put it on top here. This looks awful. I... I've seen people make like a Lego coffee table and then they just got either glass or I want to say like acrylic plexiglass on top and I think Home Depot has that, the plexiglass. Um, take 17 and that's... Did she say 17? I can't remember. I forgot that I had to actually walk all the way home with this and this is not small. So this plexiglass is way too big. Then you're supposed to like cut it like 10 times which I feel like I'm close enough, and then you're supposed to just bang it on the edge of the table and it's supposed to break. They also said to use safety goggles, which I do not have. That wasn't supposed to happen. So this morning, Jack decided he didn't want to wait until I took him pee this morning. He'd rather just pee all over my chair back there and all over the blanket. Right? I thought we were good. You haven't had an accident pretty much since we got you that first week. I don't know why you decided to pee over all over everything today. Another note, my coffee table here. I, <laughs> I'm really still kicking myself that I messed up this acrylic. On camera, I'll show you some more up close because I didn't really get to show that much yesterday. Um, it looks pretty good. I really love the coffee table. It's just the one non-perfect edge of the acrylic that's bugging me. But it's something I'm just going to have to learn to love because I spent way too much on this acrylic. And I'm not buying a new one. I'm not redoing it. This is it. So I'm just trying to love learn to love imperfections. Do we see the imperfect corner? Right there. We're gonna talk about the two packages I have here. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, I can't remember, but I really need some more decor pieces for my bedroom, so I ended up getting these metal pieces and they're supposed to hold books. So you put it against your wall like this, and then you just stack books on here, and then you can make your wall into a bookshelf, like a nice bookshelf. And I got like a lot of them. Next thing, this one, um, not as exciting. It's just a bath mat, just a checkered bath mat. It's actually quite nice. It's very soft. Oh, I did not measure this, so. Oh, that looks pretty good. Huh. I like that checkered bath mat. I think that's good one, good one. So one thing I have been avoiding is organizing my craft closet. This right here, craft closet slash washing machines. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to um, organize all these because there's actually a lot of bins here. So for my craft closet, I just have everything stacked up beside my wash machine and I can't get to anything. Like I definitely need some shelves. So I found one shelf on Ikea, which I've had this shelf before in my place two places ago. I had two of these in my closets and it worked really well for all of my bins because my bins were from Ikea. So 
everything matches. So I'm gonna order one of these. The only thing is, when I went into my closet and measured it, the shelf is gonna be about four inches too tall. So I'm gonna have to bring out the handsaw again. <laughs> In hand saw it a bit shorter the shelf so for these bookshelves I I don't have any books for them I am in a pickle I bought these and then realized oh I have no books to display on these because all the books I have right now are already displayed are my two cartels those are all the books I own I got rid of all my books like my whole book collection when I moved to my last place because I didn't have space for it and I already read them so now this is a great opportunity for me to go get some new books to read So I ended up walking away with three books. These three. So first one I got was The Myth of Normal. Did you did you want me to like explain them? I'll just link them down below so then you can you can go look at them. The next one is Eight Rules of Love. And then last one I got was Where the Craw Dads Sing. I don't know. But I did want to get more books there was one book I was looking for and they did not have there so I ended up just ordering it on Amazon along with two other books so I am getting three more books tomorrow <laughs> and I should be pretty set to have six books to read I'm not an incredibly fast reader so it's not like oh I'll be done this month six books no this is gonna take me a while and I'm already working on a different book so I feel like I'm pretty good there and I'll just like keep piling up books when um, you know I finish books and find books I want to read but this is not very much for my book shelves that I'm gonna put everywhere so I grabbed my other smaller books and these are the other ones I have that I can put on those little bookshelves I wish I had someone to hold it for me because I have no idea what it looks like up close I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like this wall should just stay blank. Like I feel like it looks really good right now and I just don't want to like clutter it. Like what if I put them here? Just cause originally I was thinking maybe I could put a coat, no, a hanger, like a hanger for clothes. And then also I was thinking for the hanger, it would stick out so much where I wouldn't have any walkway through here. So. a little toasty so I might not need to cut these shelves if I can get it inside this thing and then outside this thing you know um, just leave that around and then somehow move this wash machine over a good amount oh, I could have killed myself there oh it's working box of handmade clothes 
And um, not all of them I wear. Like I have like, well they made like a prom dress out of a curtain here, which you know does not need to go in my closet. So I'm just gonna sort through this and see all the items that I do actually want to wear and the items that are kind of just, you know, I made for fun and leave those in those box or this box until I'm in a place that I can display them properly. Where do I put this dress at? This is definitely going. I love wearing this bucket hat in the summertime. Okay, I'm pretty much gonna wear all this. We're just gonna take it all out. Jack, guess what? I'm done the place. I'm done the place. We are finally at that part in this series where I'm gonna show you guys the whole tour of my place. And I'm gonna try to show you every nook and cranny because I know people asked in my last video, where are your plants? They are here, not 100% of all of them, but 90% of them are here. They're just hiding in a very secret, special spot. So I will show you guys everything in the place starting with, um, over here. So behind door number one, on this side, very boring, it is just washer. But on this side, this is how I organized all of my craft supplies. It's not as nicely organized as my last place because I, I had two closets last time and this one I only have one. So I do have it stacked two layers for all the bins. So there are some back there, which is kind of inconvenient for me to like take this out, search, you know, go to the back and try to find them. But uh, you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta work with what you work with. So last corner before we get into the living room and the rest of the place, I have this red shelf, which you guys saw me get off Facebook Marketplace and I got it delivered. You can still get this shelf from Ikea. They just don't have it in red. And when I saw the red one, I just knew it'd be perfect for my place because it matches my chairs, it matches my pillows, it matches my rug. I just really like having a little red accent in my place. So this worked out really well. I'm able to put my keys here. I have a little mirror, I have a place for my sunnies. I have some decor, more plants, my watering can. I even have some yarn at the bottom, which is not very nice looking, but we're just gonna leave it like that for now. So next space is my living room and Jack. So next space is my living room. This is my personal favorite space of my whole place and I would like to say it's also my fav my dog's favorite. Is it your favorite? Yeah, let me just show you. It's, I don't know, I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say. Can we just look at it for a minute? Isn't it so good? I, I'm honestly just so, happy with myself and just so proud of myself because pretty much everything in my living room or pretty much everything in my place except a few things are thrifted and those were all found individually and then put together in the space and matched together so I, I don't know it's just like a really cool accomplishment when you can go and source all these items and then put it together and then finally see the final result it's just it's something magical. It tickles your tummy a bit. Also, before I forget, this is where most of my plants are. They're behind the couch here, all hiding. And then also some of them died. So now for my dining room slash working space. I don't know what we want to call this room. I'm just gonna say dining room slash office, I guess. <laughs> my office shrunk and I eat there now. Here is my dining room. You can see more of a coffee shop vibe here because there is like stuff on the walls which I don't know maybe a coffee shop does not have things on the walls I'm just gonna call it my coffee shop actually so we already know about the chairs we know about the table all thrifted kind of vintage chairs or they vintage chairs Ikea table and then I have my pegboards for my last place above this is where all my sewing supplies some knitting supplies mainly mainly sewing supplies though and then um, that's it for this corner actually if we go over here though and then over here, this is where my Manny is. I have her kind of tucked away in the corner so you guys haven't really seen her, um, but it's in my workspace, it's in my coffee shop. 
And then beside that, this is where my mirror is, along with a cartel with a bunch of other books, like my knitting books, my sewing books, all that kind of fun jazz. So I really didn't do anything in my kitchen, but here's a little tour of it. It's just on the other side of my dining table. I organized it two videos ago, so if you guys wanna watch me organize my kitchen and more in depth, you know, tour of it, I'll link it down below. Okay, now we kind of have to go sports mode for this because next is my bedroom and it's very tiny. Okay, I got the lights off so you guys can get the best lighting possible. So when we walk in, we see my bed and I'm actually really happy with the blanket. You know, I was a little iffy on the fence, but it looks really good with the bedding that I got at HomeSense. It really matches it well. And then beside it, we just have my bags there. And then over here, we have that thrifted shelf that, or it's from Facebook Marketplace. Do we want to call it thrifted? I don't know. My side table, whatever we want to call it, it's my side table shelf. And then we have my light over here, which is from my last place. And then if we do a little 360, this is kind of the corner you guys haven't really seen. So I do have my laundry hamper from the last place. We have my little table, which do you guys remember when I made this table? I made it at my, probably like a year and a bit ago, the tile table where I have my beautiful Monstera there. And then a few more cuttings over here. My YouTube shorts thing light. Have you guys seen this? It's actually really cool. It lights up. And then we have my floating books and then I also have another propagation above there. And I did get a couple more books today so it's looking a little bit more full but I'm hoping by whenever I move up that move out that this bookshelf is like really full and I'm not just gonna buy books. I actually have to read these books before I buy new ones. Okay well I'm getting hungry. I know the dogs are getting hungry, even though it should go off pretty soon when your food's ready. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating my place with me, moving in with me, the whole process. I really enjoyed it. I honestly feel like this place fits me the best ever. That it makes sense. This was my best makeover ever. This place, do you guys understand? Like, this is the most me place I've lived in. Ugh, anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We will get back into the making. I'm so excited to make something. I have no idea what I'm gonna make next week. So if you guys have any suggestions of what I should be making in these upcoming months, let me know down in the comments. But other than that, hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.